Yo, episode 12 was whack. We'll all go ahead and make our way towards the bedroom. So clearly the way I was feeling was affecting my work and I was just super not okay with it. Even more so, I'm not okay with how long it's been. Regardless, we're back and we're here to absolutely tear up the motherfucking overworld, these local islands, and get into that twilight forest. Let's fucking go. Hey gamers, Gaffinator here. Welcome back to Loco Islands. It's been quite some fucking time. Still got our base going. See a little bit of stuff that even I forgot about. I'm looking at everything after coming back to it from this long. And it's just crazy. I've forgotten stuff that I was setting up for like the next video. Stuff that just never got to roll out because episode 12, I was not feeling myself. And like I said, that's why I was just not trying to progress with that. It was affecting my work too much. I wasn't okay with it, and there's been a lot of shit that's happened since then. But enough about that, let's go check out the additions to the base. Check this out. Alright, here we go, approaching our platform. And what's this? We have a marker? Population machine. Alright, so as we know, or might not know, because it's been too long, this is a floating islands world. That's why it's local islands. If you look down there, that's the void. There's no bedrock or anything. With that being said, I've kind of set my base up like skyblock style stuff. No floating islands to go with floating islands. That's what all the little platforms are for everything so far. And the next step of that is building a community. We do have mine colonies installed, but that's not the one I'm going for quite yet. We got to start off with a regular villager so we can get our enchants, get ourselves leveled up a little bit. And that's exactly what this little house hut thing is for. We open up a little spot here, see boat, beds, and it's a locked in room patches in the top for dropping in new ones there's basically a town square type of thing going on there's gonna be platforms and it's gonna be a little town set up up here oh shit it's so dark up here motherfuckers be spawning what up grandpa didn't even hurt the farm hell yeah all right that's pretty much all i had to go over in the overworld i want to hop straight into the fucking twilight forest it has been so long and I know even on the last episode, I want to say I didn't go there at all. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so let's teleport on over, check on our base, wherever that fucker is. There we go. What up, big horns? Why are you fucking dying? Hey, nothing too crazy. I guess uh, our storage is looking a lot better than I thought. Uh, it's so nice to be back. This beautiful fucking place. Twilight Forest. Motherfucking Zelda references. Let's fucking go. So to pick up where we left off here in the Twilight Forest, we just killed that lich and unlocked the swamp biome. Before when we went there, we just starved to death instantly and I couldn't collect the mangrove trees that I needed. Nowadays, I can stroll right on through this motherfucker. The biggest part of the swamp being unlocked is of course the next boss, which takes us back to the labyrinth that I struggled with all that time ago. Absolutely raging out at the fact that the Minotaurs hit me so fucking hard. Opening our map up here, I want to say this is the labyrinth. I had everything about all the guesswork for that area wrong before, so time to find out. Okay, and yeah, this is the labyrinth. I need to switch armor here. I'll slide on down. Nice and safe. And this is where the safety ends. Start off with north. That seems like a fair direction. Now, I can't tell you if this is the path that I've taken before. And I put some of these torches down. It seems like a floor torch would be like a player move. GG, I'll take that easy kill. Another trap chest. I remember how this goes. Maze wafer, so it feeds you. That was some decent loot, all things considered. Looks like we got another one right here. They're leaving us safe. I can't believe it. Oh shit. Hell no, bitch. I'm not playing these games. Fuck. Oh. Bro, I need some ranged attacks going on in here. Piercing 2? I'll fucking take it. Bitch. Ah, I love that we can get slime here consistently too. Ooh, lever root sticking out. Ah. Look at that fucking concentration of mobs up there. What the fuck is even that? I say we get some Naga scale armor going back on our person here. So we got his health bar. Where's this fucker hiding? 
There he is. Did y'all see him? Woo! Stunned. Going in for the... Bam! Charging. Got him stunned. He's on my fucking ass. Oh, God. Alright, got the stun. Got the stun. Charge him again. Got the stun. Heels, heels, heels. Ooh. He's charging. Got the stun. Come on. You're dead. Fuck yeah. Got his ass. First try. Let's fucking go. Been forever since we did some of this shit. We just came in and wrecked his fucking mouth. Alright, he gave us six scales. What did we have? Four? We're gonna have to do another one. Bam. Another enemy. Looks like we got another one right here. We just gotta go east of Small Hill. Oh god. Murder time, fun time. This motherfucker went wasting any time. That motherfucker gave us seven scales. That should be plenty to get our armor created. Let's get the fuck out of here. Giggity, we got some fresh armor. Let's see if we can't make it turn daytime. Usually when we sleep here, I want to say it stayed the same time. It's still dark. <laughs> right back in we go. That sounds like way too many minotaurs to be fucking okay. Nope. Jesus Christ. I'm really not sure how to approach this. I mean, just fighting one single enemy gets me down to one heart in a matter of one and a half seconds. Literally, like, that mini-map is not okay. I can do nothing about this. I blocked that and still died. Yo, I'm okay with that. It's opening up fucking shit for us. <laughs> oh shit, what are we here? So if I can get him stun locked, like it's all good, those minotaurs, but otherwise, ah, big fucked I am. What is that? Wow. No fucking way we have to go deeper. I hereby declare this room a checkpoint. We're gonna jump down into this hole and see what's popping, but I've spent a lot of time trying to just navigate this place so far. I'm gonna look around a little down here if I don't see the boss to get an attempt in on him. I think we're gonna have to go to our final little objective for the day, but it's a surprise. I've been saving it and waiting to show y'all. I'm really hyped for it. It's definitely something I was trying to get at before, but didn't quite make the objective. God. That doesn't count. Why am I dying? I'm assuming you're not supposed to be allowed to jump out of the grip of him. You have to kill him to escape. Okay, so clearly I'm not ready to be down there. Guess I'll have to do some studying in between recording on just how the fuck to navigate the labyrinth. But like I said, I do have a surprise for us. So if you hadn't figured out what exactly I was talking about earlier, I was talking about our nether portal. Gathering obsidian ended up being an incomplete objective on one of our lists. However, I went out and found a pool of lava and placed one by one each of these pieces of obsidian. No more searching for that shit. No more worrying how I can't mine it because of my skill progression. It didn't matter. I just needed water and lava. The buckets. Fuck you, Grandpa. So without further ado, I'm gonna end the video off on a completed objective for once, like fuck sakes. And here we are, the nether. This is the sketchiest place it could have put this motherfucker, goddamn. Now seeing the uh, generation, I'm almost wondering if the nether isn't floating island style also. Alright y'all, I think that's gonna do it. We got ourselves a little camp set up here by our portal. Well, gamers, I think y'all about know what time it is. That's gonna do it for me today. Definitely appreciate y'all watching as always. And since you made it this far, I know you love this shit. Since you came back, holy shit. Man, get a round of applause for everyone that fucking came back. You the real OGs. Because how many times have I tried to make a return on this shit? Like, goddamn.
But for real, if you're hearing this outro, I know this shit was lit, so go ahead and show it to me. Leave a comment, tell me how this shit's popping. Definitely like and subscribe. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me. Later, gamers.